Okay, so now we have stitched this long seam, remembering to leave the opening. And we are going to refold it so that that long seam now runs down the center. And this will be the bottom of our earthworm. Okay? And now is the time where we have to get our little face template. All you're going to do is take your template and line up the curve. You can you can do you can either trace it with the pen and that's what I'm going to do. This is the first pen I found. It's not the best pen. And then just draw out. The most important thing, you want to have this curve. Put two pens in. And then you're going to take it over to your sewing machine. And you're going to start over here on the edge. And you're going to want to back stitch. Stitch along this line. You want to do the same thing. for your head. And again, start at the edge, back stitch, stitch along the line, back stitch. Once you're done with this seam here, you can trim the additional fabric corners off. Okay, so I have them stitched, and I realized while I was stitching that I forgot to mention, if you don't want to draw onto the fabric, you can uh, just pin the template to the fabric and sew right next to it. Whatever makes you more comfortable. So now I am trimming just those little corners off. And we're going to go to our opening right here. Stick our hand in. It's almost like getting on some nylons here. And pull it out. Same thing for the tail. I use my chopstick just to stick it in and round out the seam. If you want, you can do this in this step now, or you can wait till it's stuffed. You can trace the face on. And I got a pencil this time, so I know it'll work better than that pen. And, you know, if you're going to mark on fabric, it is best to try it first before you start marking on the actual fabric. So maybe take a, a test piece of fabric, or you can buy... Um, actual fabric markers. They do make uh, markers that have disappearing ink. I just I usually use a pencil. For me, it works just fine. And since I'm going to embroider over everything that I draw, I find that it is it works out just fine. And that's my oven. That's my lunch. So there you go, I got it traced on, and then we're
we're going to just start stuffing, usually for my other dolls, and I do create other dolls, um, lambs, monkeys, girls, um, kittens, all sorts of other animals uh, for you to purchase. They are very inexpensive, easy to start. You just purchase them, I send them to you in an email, you download them, print them, and you're ready to go. You can find these um, at my website www.bitofwhimsydolls.com and all you have to do is click on the picture and it'll take you to my Etsy shop where you can purchase. So, anyway, as I was saying, with my other dolls, I prefer to use cluster stuff. It is small fibers of polyfill. For the worm, it is best to use regular polyfill because it's larger and you got so much to stuff. If you were stuffing little pieces in, it would get very frustrating and it would take a long time. Also, and my husband actually wants me to do this for him, and it, it's coming, maybe Father's Day. I'm sure he's gonna edit this, so surprise. You can fill it with little uh, plastic beads that you can find at Joann's or Hobby Lobby. And to keep them contained, take uh, a pair of old nylons, cut them, fill them up, tie it off, and then shove them in your opening, and you can do a combination of polyfill, and I made one like this for Robbie. It had polyfill, and then it had a bag of the beads, a polyfill, a bag of beads, and I just went through the whole thing. And it gives it a really nice weight, it makes it really floppy, and uh, for adults, it makes a really nice headrest. So you could also use the same idea, instead of using the beads, you could put corn, or rice, um, lavender, and make sure you put it in the in the nylon so it keeps it nice and contained inside the worm. And then if you want, you could just put it in the microwave, heat it up, and you have a nice heated neck rest for an adult. And or a nice warm uh, friend for a toddler, an older child, not a baby, to take to bed. So these earthworms are actually very versatile in the fact that they're not just for cuddling with for kids, you can actually make them functional for adults by making them into a headrest. Okay, so now we are ready to stuff. Okay, so I have my polyfill here. And it's best if you start stuffing it. You know, I stuff the face first. Was it this part? Because it is so long, it's a little time consuming. And I usually just stick my whole hand in so I can get it. And you're not going to want to stuff it too firmly because this is it's an earthworm, so it's going to be need to be a little a little wiggly. So what I did but the first one I made was I would just stuff it. And it's most important that you get the face stuffed firmly because you have to get, you're going to have to embroider. Other than that, though, just stuff. You can even, like, leave a little gap. Stuff, leave a little gap, and it makes it nice and snugly. So you're just going to keep doing this. until it's full to how you want it. Stick that hand in there. And the face part is the hardest part because it's the furthest away from the opening. So once you get this face done. It is smooth sailing. 